Hello and welcome to this Power BI tutorial with me, James from Matador Software. Today we're going to look at how we can take values from a matrix visualization and both use native conditional formatting and use DAX to conditionally format this visual to turn it into a really effective heat map. So the data that I'm using today, I've previously used this in a variation. We're going to be looking at the amount of tons that our mock logistics company shifts. And we're going to use the heat map to show the really dense areas where we're, you know, we're fulfilling orders, where we're being really efficient and we're making sales. And we're going to also use that heat map to analyze where we're failing. So to look at the data quickly, I mean, it's really simple what we're actually looking at. We're looking at the load in tons and we're reflecting this for the first few weeks of the year. So we're looking at week two, three, four, and five, and we've got the days of the week numbered one to seven. So we can analyze where we're performing and where we're not. So these numbers are great, reflect the load in tons per day. The issue is it would be very hard to make data-driven decisions with this. It's quite hard to take in. So if we go into the visualization and the data well, we can click conditional formatting and look to do the native conditional formatting by background color. This looks like a lot, but all we're actually saying is that we want to apply a gradient to the background color. We'll add a middle color. We'll choose a middle ground blue there. And now we can see when we click this, all right, great. The higher the value is, the more dense, the, the darker the blue color is. And we can actually layer this. So if we want to get rid of the font and just have a nice heat map, we just apply the exact same conditional formatting to the font color by the gradient. So again, we apply the same colors and this will create a nice heat map with no font. So it's good, but it's quite limited. Um, we can see clearly that Monday we were doing well, Sunday uh, we need to improve on Tuesday especially, and we can draw some insights there, but there's a way to power this up. So it's worth noting that I quite often interchangeably use the old and the new format pane. Today I'm using the old one, but the the concepts apply the same. We can move back into our data fields and we can remove the conditional formatting. So we're back to our starting visual. And I've actually created a DAX measure that's gonna give us a much more flexible and powerful heat map. So all we're saying here is we're using switch, which is a more efficient if statement. If it equals to zero, give it this light color, you know, cross between a white and a blue. If it's between zero, the load in tons and 30, give it another color, between 30 and 40, another one. And if anything above greater or equal to 40, we give it a darker blue. And we can specify the hex values ourselves, and we can also give more options in that standard three tier gradient. So now if I apply the same, same uh, conditional formatting to the background, I actually select field value and now I can do it by a field. So if I go into London Logistics, I can choose my DAX measure that I created, my switch statement, and there we go. We start to see a more powerful heat map. Like we did before, we'll also layer this and apply it to the font color. So again, we can choose a field value. Again, we'll base it on the same field within London Logistics. We'll use the heat map background color. And when we apply this, we get a really, really nice heat map that clearly shows the dense areas in much more granular and much more micro detail than we could have before with just those three tiers. So that's fantastic. We found a workaround that's better than the native version and we utilize our friend Dax. You're free to format this however you like, but it's a really powerful workaround using native visuals and Dax and it serves a really good use case. As usual, if you like this content, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you.